55 from the Book of Common Prayer. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be His kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God of heaven and King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God of heaven and God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. <laughs> the pivots on the threshold shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me. I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live pole that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips and your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out, then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here I am. Send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together Psalm 138. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing your praise. I will bow down to the Lord of the and praise your name, because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name, and you will heard of all things. When I call,
the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Now I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaimed to you, which you in turn received, in which also you stand, through which also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we proclaim, and so you have come to believe. The word of the Lord. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will catch, be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Father, 
Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What to do when you have a children's sermon and no children yet? <laughs> we could discuss the Stall them. <laughs> we could discuss the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, there we go. Come on. All right. <laughs> They're coming. I see them. I don't see them. Anybody know any good jokes that you can tell in church? And then there was silence. Oh, here we go. Come on up here. Come on up with Penelope. Like 
anybody? Can you help? And what's the sound doing with the with the the colors? Gonna touch his lips. I don't recommend this. It's a hot burning coal. And it touched his lips. And why did he do that? Because with that, that's how God purified his lips and made Isaiah, this guy right here in blue, made him a prophet. He said, you're a human being and you are a person of unclean lips. So I'm going to purify your lips. So I can put my word in your mouth and you can speak my word to my people. That's what God did. And the seraph was working for God. The one with six wings. Extra credit points for anyone else who can find any other seraphs in any of our windows. Six, six wings. Come on back up front. So that's the first story by Isaiah. So, second. second story is about Jesus and Simon. Alright, so in the second story, you got to hold on to that first story. But this is a whole new story. They're by the shore of the big lake. And a whole bunch of people have come to hear Jesus talk. I wish we had a picture of this I could show you. But, um, so Jesus wants to talk to the people and he gets in a boat. He gets in Simon Peter's boat. And he says, just go out a little ways from the shore. So he's not very far. I don't know, maybe as far as I am to these folks right here. Just so everyone can see him, because everyone's on the shore, and they're watching and they're listening to Jesus, and he teaches them from there. And then he says to Simon Peter, okay, let's go fishing. Now, it's Peter's boat. Peter's a fisherman. That's what he does for his job. He's been out all night long, because some fish you have to catch them at night. He worked all night long, didn't catch one fish. And Jesus says, okay, let's go out in the deep water and put down the nets we're going to catch some fish. And Peter said, um, I don't think so. We tried all night. We didn't catch anything. But okay, all right, we'll try it. So they, they put the boat out deeper into the water. They put down the nets. And this time, they caught fish. They caught fish. They couldn't, they couldn't even pull the nets up. They caught so many fish. They were just full. And the nets were starting to break, so they had to call their, their, their partners, another set of brothers, uh, James and John, and it was Peter and Andrew, the guy that we're named after. They were, they were brothers and worked together as fishermen. And they called their partners, James and John, in another boat. They filled up two boats full of fish, and the boats were starting to sink. So how do you think Peter responded to that. What do you think he did? Um, was well, he I have happy? a Bible book and... Does it have this story in it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you probably know the answer. Jesus was walking on water. Yep, that was another story. It was the same life, though. In this story, Peter, you'd think he'd be happy being a fisherman filling up two boats full of fish. What he did, though, was just like Isaiah, he was scared. He knew that Jesus wasn't just a regular guy. He was, he was God. Only God could make this happen, this, this miracle of all these fish. And he was really scared, just like Isaiah. And for the same reason, so Peter threw himself on the, on the ground in front of Jesus and he said, Go away from me, Lord, I'm a sinner. You don't want to be around me. And Jesus said, No, no, it's okay. I'm going to make you fish for people. And that's, they didn't use nets, but that, that, that would be kind of fun. But, um, so the, he, Peter became one of Jesus' followers and, and, and he ended up becoming one of the main guys. And they, he was very successful at catching people to follow Jesus, at, at the, telling people the good news about Jesus. So here's what I want you to get out of these two stories, because it's the same thing in both stories. 
In both stories, the person meets God, right? And doesn't feel worthy. You know what that means? They don't feel good enough. They don't feel like they should be in God's presence because God's too good for them. But in both cases, God says, nope, don't worry, I've got you covered. And that's called mercy. That's all about God's mercy and God's grace. God forgives their sins. God knows that they're sinners. But He still wants them to do a job for them. Isaiah was being called to be a prophet. Peter was being called to be an apostle. Both of them were out there speaking God's word to God's people. And they couldn't do it without God's help. Just like when Peter spent all night long fishing and didn't catch anything, it was only with God's help that he was able to catch so many fish. And that tells us that, guess what? I'm not good enough. Your teachers aren't good enough. Even Walter over here is not good enough. <laughs> but that's okay. Because we have God's mercy. And God's grace. And God forgives us our sins. And God puts us to work. He expects us to do just like Isaiah, just like Peter. We're supposed to go out and proclaim the good news. And we do that by, by saying good things to people and by doing good things for people and helping folks. Just like you learn in the, in the Cub Scouts. Hold on, hold on. Hold, please hold your questions to the end. Um, so uh, that's what we're called to do. We're given a job to do. Just like Peter and, and Isaiah and just like them. We don't have to do it ourselves. God is with us. And God is actually working through us. God is working through us. That's the exciting thing. That we're made good enough by Jesus. And we're sent out. And God is able to work through us. And do all the good things God wants to do. Make sense? Any questions? Hands go up. Yes. Uh, we'll start with you. I found a fishing rod. Cool. Did you catch any fish with it? Um, not yet. He's going to have to do it in the sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can go ice fishing, too. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, how about we uh, close with a uh, prayer? All right. Let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks for all your blessings in our lives. We thank you for calling us to serve you and for giving us your mercy and your grace so that we are good enough through you to be in your presence and that your presence with us is able to do good things in the world. That you work through us. We thank you, Lord, for, for children, and for the joy and the fun and the smiles and the giggles. And we thank you for blessing us with their presence. We ask your blessing upon them. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Thank you all. And thank you, leaders. <laughs>
Prayers of the People are Forum 6, found in the Book of Common Prayer, page 392, or in your bulletin. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. Video. We're glad that you're able to be with us 
uh, in this way. I don't have a whole lot to announce today. We had um, our annual meeting last week. Uh, we have packets with all of the annual reports of all the different groups within the church. I believe there are some in the narthex. Uh, if, they, if they aren't there, we'll make sure they're there uh, next week, but um, there's usually a stack of them there. It's also available online if you missed uh, the meeting last week. Don't forget, uh, tonight at 5 o'clock, we have our even song. Uh, that's right here in the church. The choir will be singing, and it's a lovely service. If you've never been to an evening song, it's basically sung evening prayer. It's a great old English uh, tradition that we try to carry on here uh, at St. Andrews. Um, and uh, I don't have a whole lot more to announce. Uh, watch your announcements and the weekly email. We've got a uh, chili sale coming up uh, next week uh, in conjunction with Super Bowl. Um, any other, anything else to announce today? I didn't mention... Hey, That's what I forgot. It was Joan. Joan is our greeter. Good to see you, Joan. You, know, you keep moving around on me. And... So where's Joan? It's like, where's Waldo, you know? Um, so yes, if you, if you are a newcomer, even if it's not your first visit, you can talk to Joan. She knows it all, and she will point you in the right direction. Um, anything else? Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God.
continue our worship with the great thanksgiving. Eucharistic Prayer A, page 361 in the prayer book. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, because in the mystery of the Word made flesh you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross, and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is God. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And let the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
Gift of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you. And feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Thank you.